What does a lucid dream actually feel like? The main things that you'll experience in a lucid dream, the main things you'll feel, okay, is a sense of control and excitement. They're the main things, right? You suddenly feel really excited and, uh, and sort of mentally aroused that you're in a new place, you're in a new world, where you can decide what to do and you can control what you do, right? And you have this profound awareness that there's no consequences. You, you understand fundamentally that you can do whatever you want and there are no rules, there are no laws. Because, especially if you've read about lucid dreaming beforehand, if you've prepared yourself for this, right? Maybe even watching my videos, maybe even reading articles, so that when you eventually do have a lucid dream, you know that it's a lucid dream and you're aware that you can, you can do whatever you want. You're going to have this profound sense of, you know, freedom. And it's going to feel like you've just woken up in a new world, okay? It usually feels like you've just snapped into being. You've snapped into consciousness or you've just woken up. You've just opened your eyes, even though, you know, pun not intended because you're, you're dreaming, right? You're sleeping. It feels like you've just woken up and opened your eyes. It feels like you've just suddenly entered a place that you've never been before where you can suddenly do whatever you want. You can do anything. And, you know, different things feel different in a lucid dream. You can, for example, have dream food. If you eat food in a lucid dream, what happens is your mind simulates the best parts of that food and builds it upon your memory. If you have a memory of chocolate cake that's really good, obviously, when you have chocolate cake in a dream, your mind will simulate that and exaggerate the really nice feeling of a chocolate cake, right? You'll experience all the best bits with none of the bad bits. If you have lucid dreaming sex, your mind will simulate the best bits and ignore the bad bits, right? You'll just have the best pleasure. And so really that's how it feels, right? It feels very vivid, but then the good parts that you want to experience are exaggerated. And the bad parts usually are left out. Unless you're having a lucid nightmare or if you're not completely in control in the first place. Now, a quick word about pain in a lucid dream, because this is something that a lot of you might be worrying about. Yes, you can feel pain in a lucid dream. You're not immune to pain anywhere, right? But it's not the same type of pain. It's not physical. It's mental. So a lot of our pain that we experience in, in waking life is mental. We expect something to hurt, so we make it hurt more in our minds. The actual physical pain, as in the nerve endings on your, on your body being simulate, stimulated, that is real, obviously, and you can't really ignore that. But there is a certain degree of pain that you can ignore. For example, when you first get a tattoo, you're likely going to build up the expectation that it's going to really hurt in your mind, right up until the time when you finally get it done, and it does hurt. Usually it hurts more because you've expected it to hurt more. Then after the fifth or sixth tattoo that, you've, that you get, you know, or even tenth, right, it feels a lot less painful, a huge amount less painful, because you know what to expect, and you know that you can sort of ignore, depending on where you get tattooed, you can sort of ignore the pain. It's exactly the same thing in a lucid dream, okay? When you first have lucid dreams, you expect things that normally would hurt to hurt, right? If you step on a, a pin in a lucid dream, you expect it to really hurt, so it does hurt. And I'm not going to lie, it does. You wake up from the pain and you feel, like, really shaken up, right? But then once you've had a few lucid dreams and you know how it all works, when you do the same thing, when you step on a pin, for example, you don't feel the pain because you know it's not real. And you can block out the mental pain with your lucid awareness, okay? So this is sort of how a lucid dream feels. Um, in terms of how it looks, this is sort of a very subjective area, you know, it looks different for everyone. Some people will see different colours, some people dream in black and white, right? Some people have lucid dreams where they don't see anything, but they're still aware of what's happening. It's very weird and it's a very sort of deep, complicated subject. But in terms of the feeling, that's what you can expect. Done.